it's time it's time it is time what is up everybody how you guys doing today you guys know what time it is don't you it's time for us to have the best time in the world with the best game in the world but before we get into that let me see what you guys are saying in these comments because i'm super excited to see it you know what i mean look oh oh, oh. hey Brittany lynn Brittany lynn you knew it was me hey jumping jerry hey lewis all of you guys whoa hey i'm reading all the comments real time hey jn nomad you can't take my job i'm sorry jn nomad says how do you get this job i don't know because i only know how to keep it okay um i hope you guys are all excited today to have a good day uh beth or beth is working in the library which is really nice hey amber dobbs all of you guys i'm excited today you know why because i just feel like today's gonna be a good day you know what i'm saying because it's like the weather is nice at least here in california it's nice and then we're just ready to have a good time today. You know, I love looking at the national days, you guys. So let's see. Today's national day is one of the days which I found interesting. It's National 3D Day. Okay, so maybe if you have time, you can go out there and see a 3D movie, you know, some fun stuff like that. I don't know. Whatever. It's also, let's see. It's also American Diabetes Association Alert Day. So I don't know what that means. I know what diabetes is. So maybe just uh, go make sure you're healthy and everything is okay. And if you do have it, check in with your doctor. All right. Because wh that's what today is about. You know, all these national days. Also, last but not least, National Bavarian Bavarian Crepes Day. You know what? A crepe is good. All right. If you find the right crepe, you can really just take it home. All right. So, um, hey, you guys. Oh, hey, Laura. Hey, Jim. Hey, Barnegat. Hey, Beth or Beth. Ooh, you guys, I'm really excited. And you know what? I think it's time. I think it is time to have a grand old time. Does that make sense? Time to have a grand old time. All righty then, you guys, let's get into it. It's National Goof Off Day. That's another uh, day. And I think you've earned a few minutes to goof off with us and just play Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Now, listen up, you guys. We may like to goof around here. But we're serious when it comes to our grand prize, all right? We're very serious about it. So look at this real quick. Look, 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 look. do you see what that is? That right there is $1,000. And if you can correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice trivia questions about any and everything, you, my friend, are going to win your share of it, all right? That's what's going to happen. It is. So in this game, you earn one bonus SB for every single question that you do get right after number one even if you've already been eliminated. Now listen up though. If you're eliminated from grand prize contention, you'll need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. So that's as simple as clicking a button that appears at the end of the game. Now listen up, if you win the game though, your bonus is gonna be claimed automatically because listen up you guys, hey, it's a little perk, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind when you're playing. Also, it is second chance week which means that you're getting three free rejoins for playing today and for any other day that you play this week. Each day's rejoins are credited before the following day's games begin. So very important. I have a lot of announcements to tell you guys, you know what I mean? I, but I'm done now. I'm done now and I think you guys are ready to play. So what we're going to do right now is get these comments off of your screen and get you locked in for the start of the game, which is right now. So let's go, people. Here's question number one. What food do you make inside of a special iron? A pancake, waffle, or French toast? Pancake, waffle, or French toast? All right, all right, all right. So for all of you road warriors out there who've ever stayed at a Hampton Inn, the highlight of the breakfast bar is definitely the self-serve Waffle iron, you heard me correctly. Waffle is the correct answer. 29,161 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that waffle iron was the correct answer. That's uh, listen, that's 29,161. That's 97% of you guys, and I do love a waffle, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm glad that you guys know what food is made in a special iron. Now, some of you guys are rejoining, and that's okay, you know what I mean? Because we're gonna get it going, we're gonna keep on moving. Next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number two. Which of these groups had a female lead singer? The Rolling Stones, No Doubt, or the Sugar Hill Gang? Which one? Think about it. The Rolling Stones, No Doubt, or the Sugar Hill Gang? Now, it's actually rarer than it should be for rock bands to have a woman fronting them, but your favorite, but your favorite pop, ska, punk rock band of the 90s and 2000s had one. And you know who that was, right? 
Miss Gwen Stefani, no doubt, you guys. No doubt is the correct answer. Yes, 23,153 of you guys got the one right. And you knew that no doubt was the correct answer. Wow. Am I proud? Yes, I am very much so proud. All right, let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB, friends. Here is question number three. What kind of animals are Rocky and Bullwinkle? Sea serpent and boy, squirrel and moose, or chipmunks? Which one are they? Sea serpent and boy, squirrel and moose, or chipmunks? All righty, right, all right. So, you guys, they're one of the most iconic duos of cartoon history, constantly in danger of being ambushed by Boris and Natasha, who want to do in the moose and squirrel. Squirrel and moose, all right? Moose and squirrel. 27,536 of you guys got the one right. And you knew that they were a moose and a squirrel, Rocky and Bullwinkle. All those cartoons from back in the day, you guys love them, right? Some really good ones. Feel free to uh, write down in the comment section which ones were some of your faves because memories, right? All right, you guys. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus to SB. Here's question number four. A Palo Alto statue of what science pioneer is always a time capsule and a Wi-Fi hotspot? Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, or Nikola Tesla? Which one is it, friends? Which one? I have a question. Is there anything more Silicon Valley than a tech icon statue doubling as a Wi-Fi hotspot? I mean, I'm sure there are a ton of cars near the statue that bear his name, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla is the correct answer. 20,528 of you guys got the one right. And you knew, my friends, you knew. And Nikola Tesla was the correct answer. Uh, yes, you guys are doing really well, actually. Yes, we have 23% of you guys who did get this one wrong, but that's not that's not that many. But take this time to rejoin. You know why? Because we're like almost halfway there, and why not? Over 5,180 of you guys have rejoined. I think that's good, right? Let's move on. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number five. In which city would you walk down the Champs Elysees? Paris. Amsterdam or New York? In which city would you walk down the Champs Elysees? Paris, Amsterdam, or New York? All right, you guys. So starting at Place de la Concorde and ending at the Arc de Triomphe at Place Charles de Gaulle, the Champs Elysees in Paris is one of the world's most famous streets. You guys heard that right there? Paris, baby, Paris. 23,379 of you guys got it right. And you knew that Paris was the correcto answer. I'm proud of you guys. That's over 91% of you. Good job. Good job. We're halfway there. And I think we should continue, right? So let's go. Moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number six. Which of the following actors turned down the role of James Bond? Sir Alec Guinness, Cary Grant, or Gregory Peck? Sir Alec Guinness, Cary Grant, or Gregory Peck? All right, you guys. So while they ultimately went with Sean Connery, when you think of the suave international spy that is known as James Bond, it's not hard to imagine Cary Grant in the role. What's up, Cary? 17,936 of you guys got the one right. And you knew that Cary Grant was the correcto answer. Now, I got to say that one did have at least 25% of you guys who got that one wrong. So just take a second. Take a second to rejoin. You know what I mean? Like I said, we're almost there. You're almost there. All right, let's move on to the next question. Question number seven, worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. So what makes a phrase a double entendre? It repeats itself, it only uses two words, or it has two meanings. What makes a phrase a double entendre? All right, you guys. So a double entendre is usually accompanied by a wink or some raised eyebrows. And that's because someone has just uttered a phrase with one. No, not one, but two meanings. That's what it means. If they uttered a phrase with two meanings, that's a double entendre, baby. All right. 19,905 of you guys got the one right. And you knew that it meant it has two meanings. Ha! Ah, how beautiful. All right, moving on to the next question, you guys, worth one bonus SB. You're almost there. Here's question number eight. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to America from what country? Italy, France, or England? Italy, France, or England? 
Well, you guys, part of it actually came over before the statue was finished on display in Madison Square for several years before being shipped back to France to be completed. You heard what I said? France. France. France is the correct answer, everyone. 97% of you guys got the one right. To be exact, that's 19,440 of you who got the one right. So you should be proud of yourself. That was a good one. I'm proud of that one. All right, you guys, you're doing great. Let's move on to the second to last question, which is question number nine, worth what? One bonus SB. Let's go. What MTV reality competition show involved contestants being forced to live on an RV? The real world, singled out, or road rules? The real world, singled out, or road rules? You know, what if the real world took place in a smaller space and included challenges. Hmm. Well, from that concept came a new MTV franchise, Road Rules, you guys. Road Rules is the correct answer. 9,888 of you guys have made it this far. And guess what, friends? You're ready for our final question. Hoodie hoo! Let's go. Guess what, you guys? Tomorrow's National Puppy Day, and we've retrieved 10 dog based questions from our past, from our past and we'll be dropping them at your feet at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. So make sure to join us. It's going to be a great time. You're going to have so much fun. And I would say it's definitely worth it. You know what else is worth it? Are you ready to start investing? Make sure to join millions of Americans learning to save and invest on Stash. Create a Stash account, and Stash will start with $5 in your Invest account. Yes, if you create one, they'll give you $5. Plus, Earn 5,000 SB when you make your first deposit of $5 or more to your personal portfolio. Now, listen up. You got to be a U.S. player to qualify and take advantage of this offer, but it is a really good one. So make sure to do it. All right. All right, you guys, listen up. Moment of truth. All right. Take it. You know what, what I haven't done in a long time, which I forgot that I used to do? The deep breaths before the final question. So let's do it. One, two, three. Deep breath. Let it out. All right. Final question. Here we go. Worth one bonus SB question 10. On what date is the Tournament of Roses parade held? January 1st, December 25th, or July 4th? What date is the Tournament of Roses parade held? Listen up, you guys. So many flowers, so much pageantry. It's not a new year until the Tournament of Roses parade, which happens on what day? January 1st. Come on now. 14,657 of you guys got the one right. You knew that answer. And guess what, my friends? You're splitting our grand prize. Whoop, 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 whoop. Pew, pew, pew. Yes, I'm doing my own sound effects. So that's how excited I am for you guys. What's up to all of our winners? Hey, Trope Walker. Hey, Cam3133. Hey, Jill Ahila. What's up, Lynn341? We have Jay Jedden. We have El Hefa215. We have uh, Swad Hink. I'm Rock Pete. I, I said your name wrong. I'm sorry. I know I said that wrong. Last but not least, I'm going to redeem myself. We have S. Erickson 806. Congratulations to all of you guys. You guys are amazing. You're spending our grand prize today. Now, listen up, you guys. Now that you have all of these new SB in your account, you know what you got to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other other amazing places. I want to say thank you guys so much for playing with me today. I had a good time. You know what I mean? It was a good vibe. So thank you guys again. We'll see you tomorrow for another round. This was Swagbucks Live. And again, I'm out of here. Make sure to come tomorrow for the dog game. Bye.